साथ ही प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी के बीच मुलाकात हैदराबाद हाउस से ये तस्वीरें आप फिलहाल देख पा रहे हैं अब इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट यहाँ पर भी निकल करके आता है कि थोड़ा उस इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी को बढ़ावा मिलेगा ही मिलेगा लेकिन भारत मलेशिया के प्रधानमंत्री जो हैं वो भारत के दौरे पर हैं Our next story is also from New Delhi. The Indian capital is hosting an important guest, Anwar Ibrahim, the Prime Minister of Malaysia. Anwar is on his first state visit to India. He arrived last night and today he was given a grand ceremonial welcome. He first met Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the Rashtrapati Bhavan, that's the official residence of the President of India. After the warm welcome, Anwar went to Rajghat, the memorial complex in New Delhi, where he paid homage to Mahatma Gandhi by laying a wreath at the spot of Gandhi's cremation. Now, with the ceremonial welcome out of the way, Anwar went to Hyderabad House. That's the Indian Prime Minister's state guest house in New Delhi. It is used for high-level meetings and banquets. That's where Anwar and Modi held their meetings. After their discussions, a total of eight MOUs were signed between the two nations. Thank and you, some Secretary. quite interesting ones. You have the recruitment, employment and repatriation of workers, cooperation in the field of digital technologies and also tourism. And finally, an MOU between India's regulatory body for special economic zones and the regulatory body for Malaysia's federal territory of Labuan. Those are some of the deals that were signed today. Then there's trade, of course. India is the largest buyer of Malaysian palm oil. This has been the case for 10 years in a row. Palm oil is a key export for Malaysia. India bought about 20% of the country's palm oil in 2023, which shows the deep trade ties. And the trade doesn't just flow one way. India, in turn, exports rice to Malaysia. India is the largest exporter of rice in the world. Malaysia is a key market, especially this year, when they've been dealing with a drought. Kuala Lumpur asked Delhi for half a million tons of rice in March, highlighting the mutual trade benefits. Now, both countries want to expand these ties, and it doesn't end there. The Indian Prime Minister has bigger plans. Digital technology mein sahiyog ke liye डिजिटल काउंसिल की स्थापना करने का और स्टार्टअप अलायंस बनाने का निर्णय लिया है भारत के यूपीआई और मलेशिया के पे नेट को जोड़ने के लिए भी काम किया जाएगा इंडिया एंड मलेशिया प्लान टू फॉर्म अ डिजिटल काउंसिल a startup alliance and they plan to link their digital payment systems india's upi and malaysia's paynet we have agreed to enhance further and make it a comprehensive strategic partnership yes malaysia and uh, india from the days of uh, jawaharlal nehru and to gobind rahman has established good relations but we realize under our gen uh, generation that this must be further strengthened in a multitude of areas, uh, which covers, as the Prime Minister has rightly put, digital investments and trade in construction and um, modern uh, agriculture, uh, education, research, in all fields, including uh, military collaboration uh, in terms of uh, joint uh, operations to safeguard our borders, and, and uh, we look forward to that uh, further enhanced relation. So India and Malaysia are planning to take their bilateral ties up a notch to the level of a comprehensive strategic partnership. And this may include joint military operations, which is a big step forward. Remember, Malaysia is a Southeast Asian country, so of course it faces pressure from China. Beijing has bogus claims on Malaysian territory in the South China Sea as well. So it makes sense for Kuala Lumpur to seek out reliable partners and it seems that they are looking at India. It also shows India's growing importance as a counterweight to China in the Indo-Pacific. An Indo-Malaysian defense partnership will help take ties to a new level, especially after the last few years. Indo-Malaysian ties soured under Mahathir Mohammed. He was Malaysia's prime minister between 2018 and 2020. He was quick to criticize India's moves in Kashmir, but refused to hand over a controversial preacher called Zakir Nayak. Zakir Nayak is a fugitive, wanted for questioning over potential hate speech in India. 
Mahathir Mohammad refused to hand over Zakir Naik to India, further souring ties between the two countries. But it seems that Anwar wants to sweep these old issues under the carpet. He seems keen on reforging good ties, and New Delhi looks to be reciprocating. So perhaps this will mean a new dawn for relations between the two countries. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections to climate change to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the nation's capital. 